Hello and welcome to the enrollment education video. Here, we'll go over important terminology, along with how to read and understand your health insurance summary of benefits documents. This information will help you choose which plan best fits the needs of you and your family. Let's get started. Two terms you will need to know right away are HMO and PPO. HMO stands for Health Maintenance Organization and PPO stands for Preferred Provider Organization. The biggest difference between the two is that having an HMO means that unless it's an emergency, you must receive care at an in-network HMO provider. With a Florida Blue HMO plan, also known as Blue Care, you will need to choose a primary care physician or PCP, but you will not need a referral to see an in-network specialist. A PPO plan does not require you to choose a primary care physician, and you are free to see whomever you choose in-network or out-of-network. Some of our PPO plans are also known as Blue Options or Blue Choice. So the big difference is, with an HMO, you may only use in-network providers. Let's define some other terms. A deductible is the amount of money you will need to pay before your health plan begins paying. A copay is a set dollar amount that you pay for covered services. It is a fixed price and may differ between types of providers. Coinsurance is the sharing of costs between you and your health plan after your deductible is met, such as 80-20, where Florida Blue pays 80% and you would pay 20%. Lastly, the out-of-pocket maximum is the maximum amount you can pay out-of-pocket during a benefit year. Deductibles, copays, and coinsurance count toward your out-of-pocket maximum. Here are some other common terms. A provider is a person or institution that provides services. An in-network provider is someone who participates within a health plan network, like Blue Care or Blue Options, and whose members pay less because these providers have negotiated discounted rates with Florida Blue. An out-of-network provider is not in your network and therefore out-of-pocket costs will be higher. The last few terms we need to cover are covered services, allowed amount, and balanced billing. A covered service is a medical service that is an eligible expense under your health plan. The allowed amount is the maximum amount an in-network provider is allowed to charge for that service. Balanced billing is an additional amount members may be billed by the provider if they seek care from an out-of-network provider. This is why we always recommend using in-network providers, so you will never pay more than the negotiated discounted rate. Okay, now that we've covered the important terms, let's move on to the summary of benefits. You have received one or more of these that your company has chosen for your health insurance plan selection. These summaries are where you will find all of the details of covered services, including your deductible and out-of-pocket maximum. Keep in mind that there is a name at the top of the page, Blue Options, Blue Care, etc. And this refers to the name of the network associated with this plan. Let's start here with Office Services. This section tells you what your costs will be for services like family physician or specialist office visits. Remember, a copay would mean there is a flat dollar payment for that visit while deductible and coinsurance would mean you'd be required to pay the Florida Blue rate for that covered visit until you have met your deductible up to your out-of-pocket maximum limit. This next section, preventive care, is particularly important for staying healthy. Here you will find a few preventive services that are offered to you at low or no cost. These may include immunizations, routine checkups, including lab work, well child checkups, mammograms, and cancer screenings. Be sure to take advantage of these services. Emergency medical care. In the event of a medical emergency, you need help fast. This section gives you the cost for using an emergency room, an urgent care center, convenient care clinic, and ambulance services. In a life-threatening emergency, you may want to use an ER. But for non-life-threatening situations, you will save money by using an urgent care center or convenient care clinic. Outpatient Diagnostic Services. 
In this area, you will find your cost for services like x-rays, MRIs, and blood work at outpatient diagnostic locations. Remember to always use your in-network lab in order to avoid out-of-network charges. In the state of Florida, Quest Diagnostics is the in-network provider, but you should verify the lab of choice if you are outside of the state. FloridaBlue.com is a convenient way to verify in-network providers, not only in Florida, but anywhere else in the country or the world. The Other Provider Services section shows you the costs associated with using a radiologist, a pathologist, or anesthesiologist. Other Special Services is where we show you the costs for services such as cardiac rehab, speech therapy, physical therapy, durable medical equipment, home health care, and other skilled nursing services. The hospital surgical section shows how Florida Blue covers in or outpatient procedures, including surgery at an ambulatory surgical center, inpatient hospitalization, rehabilitation, or emergency room facility services. The financial features section is particularly important as it lists your annual deductible, coinsurance, and out-of-pocket maximum. The first number would be per person, while the second number would be a family aggregate. And remember, the coinsurance is the percentage you would pay for services after the deductible is met, and the out-of-pocket maximum is the maximum you would spend in a benefit period, including deductible, coinsurance, and copayments. Your plan may also include prescription drug coverage, and your costs depend on what pharmacy you choose and whether you use a generic or name brand medication. To determine your costs, you may look your medication up online at floridablue.com or simply review the prescription medication guide we have included in your digital kit. Prescription medications are categorized in tiers one, two, and three. Tier one is generic prescription. Tier two is a preferred brand and Tier 3 is a non-preferred brand medication. Generics, Tier 1, are usually the lowest cost, while non-preferred brands are typically the most expensive. Using an in-network pharmacy will help reduce these costs. Many pharmacies offer promotions on a wide number of generics, so make sure you speak with your pharmacists about their programs. You may also choose to use our convenient mail order, where you can get a 90-day supply for much lower than the cost of getting it locally. Remember, the best way to save money is to utilize an in-network provider and pharmacy. Our online tool is available 24-7 and makes it easy for you to search your network. This concludes the enrollment education video. We hope it makes you more knowledgeable when reviewing your summary of benefits.